Just about every parent wants to make sure their child's school is the best it can be and getting all the funding it deserves. However, one viewer with CBS 17 says she's concerned that the huge Interstate 95 winding project between Benson and Lumberton is taking money away from schools. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia getting answers for us as to where that money is coming from. Steve. It is an interesting question. The project will cost about $709 million, and one viewer believes that money could be better put to use in a different way. The concrete barriers and barrels stretch for miles along I-95 between Benson and Lumberton. CBS 17 viewer Rebecca Goodson is concerned about the cost of that project, believing the funds should be spent elsewhere. She says, I believe the money would be better spent on our students. The schools need improvement. She adds, turning I-95 into eight lanes so that there is more traffic and more accidents does very little to help our kids. So I asked NCDOT, where's the $709 million for the widening project coming from? Our revenue comes from the people who use the highways and go to DMV and gas up their their cars and federal highway grants. Let's break that down. The NCDOT's operating budget is about $5 billion. About one quarter of that comes from the gas tax. Then there's DMV fees, federal highway grants, and a small portion of the sales tax also funds the NCDOT. Schools get their funding from the General Assembly for teacher salaries. County commissioners and local governments also contribute to school budgets. If that money wasn't used to widen that section of I-95, where would it end up going? If we didn't widen I-95, we would just spend that money on other road improvement projects. That section of interstate was built back in the late 50s, so it'll be widened to four lanes in each direction and storm-proof so it won't flood like it did in 2016 and 2018 following hurricanes Matthew and Florence. The whole interstate will be lifted up uh, on a higher subgrade and with the bridges, in fact, will be 10 feet higher than what they are now. And that's based on hydrology studies, based on recent hurricanes. Now, it's going to take four years to complete the project. Rest assured, not a penny of that money is coming from any school budget. And of the $709 million price tag, $22 million of it comes from a federal highway grant. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.